Boom. The poopy sloopy. Oh boy. Oh boy. Sweet. Got a sleep. So if you're new to Shammy Guys on Moshman, I've uh, done a video recently on um, how I start out on Atlas. Um, so I thought I'd just start this uh, series from when I've got my boat. Because I uh, didn't want to go back through it all again. So I've already got a bed and a storage box crafted. Obviously we've just got the boat made. That can go there somewhere. Got a load of meat, load of fruit. Stick this at the front and away. Get that meat cooking. And I've got um, some water as well ready to go. And uh, I'm going to play through the single player. Um, I've wanted to get back on the Salvation server, which is where I've been playing Atlas. Um, when Atlas came out, and um, I've not been able to get on the server, it's been going on for a few weeks. Um, some people seem to be, get, be able to get on, some people can't. I can't get on it, I don't know what's going on. I keep getting a random error message. But I can't wait anymore, I really want to play Atlas, so here we are, we're on here. And um, they've done a lot to the game since. Um, we'll just explore this scene while we're here. But they've done a lot to the game since um, I last played. And um, one of the things they did was obviously put single player into the game, for one thing. And um, they've also enabled pirates. So there is random wild pirates in game. Um, which is pretty cool. So definitely going to add to the um, experience in single player. And obviously there'll be the ships of the damned and the treasure hunting. And, and obviously there'll be like the undead warriors still and all that stuff. So it should be cool, we'll find the Fountain of the Youth, and everything else that's in the game. And actually get to fight the bosses, so that's going to be good. Ooh, we've got a level up ready. Let's get some weight. I think we'll just sail into the wind, why not? See where we go. Once I've uh, found somewhere to settle, I'll set up a base. Um, try and get to the shipyard as quick as we can and get some bigger boats. Uh, and I really want... Oh, there's another island over that way. And we'll go to this one first. really want to get a Schooner as quick as I can. It's uh, definitely one of my favourite ships. Super versatile because of its speed, I suppose, really. And the aim for the series is just going to be to play through the game. See how far I can get. Try and get through the bosses. Um, fight all the cool creatures that are in the game. Do some submarine exploration. Because I haven't been able to do that yet. Because that was added later on after I stopped playing for a bit. And amongst all that stuff, if you guys want to know anything about the game, um, I've already been asked from some of the Xbox players about um, how the ship combat works with a controller. So what I'll do is, um, once I get to a Shuna, say, or maybe a brig, but I can do it with a Shuna. So when we get to the Shuna, I'll plug a controller in um, because it will swap to the um, Xbox controls, or it should do if it's like Arc, and then I can um, do a little video on on how that works. Um, so if you've got any questions like that or there's anything you want to know then leave a comment in the comment section below obviously and uh, I'll see what I can do and if I don't know the answer I'll find out and I'll make a video for it. And obviously if you are new to the channel don't forget to hit that subscribe button so you don't miss my weekly videos. Uh, I'm trying to do two a week, it's normally on a Wednesday and a Sunday. Um, and I only really play survival games, the other game being Ark obviously. So if that interests you, don't forget to slap that subscribe button. And obviously if you enjoyed the video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. It really helped me out. But anyway, I'll get over to this island, because it might take a little while. And then uh, we'll see what's on it. I think we'll give this one a miss. Looks a bit barren to me. Now you know what, let's... Let's get around this island. We'll head into the next grid and see what's there. So not too far from the border. Ooh, what's this? Pirate camps. Ah, sick. 
Oh look, they got a little base and everything. I, get, I hope you guys can see that. Can I turn the camera up? Oh, there we go. I hope you guys can see that there. Oh boy. Oh! Oh, no one on beach. Oh, no way. Get out of it. Oh, no. Come on. Oh, I need some sailors to move my sails. Come on. Oh, well, we're not setting up on that beach. I do need to uh, jump on land quick there and discover it. Oh, there's someone over there as well. This is awesome. This is much better than I thought it was going to be. Oh, they've got some ships. Look, there's their ships over there. Quick, get, get it discovered. Looks like another little sloop or something. Fulborough Haven. I think I'm pronouncing that right. Oh, mate, this is uh, this is great. Okay, well, let's head back over to the big island I see when I came in. Uh, I'm in M6 now, and as I come into the um, zone, there was a big island, which is that one over there to my left. Um, but I see these little clusters of rocks, and... Um, I thought that looked interesting that it was so flat. I thought it might have been cool, but there's pirates on it. Oh, okay, I need to turn my sails around. So I'll head over to that um, island in front of me now, and hopefully we can start setting up. And we're right next to an island with a pirate encampments on, so that is awesome. Come over here and mess them up once they've got a ship. And a tiger, and a bear, and some men. Now oh, this looks pretty cool if uh, the island's any good. Nice little bay that I can um, set my ships up in. Get some docks on the go in here. Kind of perfect. I hope the... Um... Oh, there's a pirate encampment on here as well. Oh, there's one way of stopping. Well, I don't know how safe this is going to be, but I'm curious. I want to see what's over here. Um, so there's definitely a pirate encampment on here. And I'm just wondering if I can even build on here. Because if I can build it, I'm tempted. Because it's only a low-level pirate camp by the look of it. I am tempted to set up here, at least to start with. Oh, they can see me from miles away without actually seeing me. Is that copper? Stone. What I want to see is a couple of... Uh... Whoa! Metal nodes. Oh, it's there! Oh my god, it's well right in the middle of a proper little village. That's a lion chasing me as well. Oh boy. Let's get over here. Adventure and Prince pirate ship. Cool. Is this fresh water? It is. Yes. Copper. Okay, so there's a little bit of copper on the island. Is 
so there is metal there's fresh water there's plenty of vegetation so aka trees and berries and fiber there's lions there's horses there's pigs a bit of everything this is kind of perfect actually unbelievably perfect and there's probably more metal if I get a chance to go and look up on top of the ridges and stuff like that um, but there's at least a little bit and these two bluffs sometimes have crystals and diamonds and stuff on them if I remember rightly so um, we haven't checked it there but there could be some stuff like that there oh there's some carols as well this bay is nice and deep, so I can definitely get a large dockyard in here. So with that, obviously, we can get the small ones. I think we're in. I think this is the one. And um, we're also not too far from Freeport. There's Freeport in the next zone. The climate's good. I think this is. I'm pretty hopeless, to be honest. I'm just going to move this around here a bit because uh, it seems to be always a lion around here or a tiger, whatever it is. Um, I don't want to build on my left because there's a metal spawn there. But, spin this round. Oh boy. This is nice and flat. I'm going to stick one of these down. Stick it here out of the way. And I'll clear this out because this just here is nice and flat, perfectly flat. And uh, for the base design I want to go with for the start, this will be perfect. Otherwise, I would have gone over that side a bit more. This is cool, we'll have a nice view of the island out of each side or out to see out the other side. But yeah, I'll get all this cleared and uh, we'll see what we can do. Alright, so I've got uh, 24 foundations made. Um, and I can't work out in my head what I exactly need for the um, entire build I've got in that I've been thinking of for a little while. Oh, there's a horse. Oh boy, I can't wait to get a horse. Um, so yeah, I'm just going to get like my main haul, which is going to be hopefully kind of like a long haul, or a great haul kind of design. Um, and then I'm going to build off of it, and it should end up as like one big enclosure. That's the idea, with a stable on it and all that stuff. foundations well this will definitely be the main house um, and I'm gonna build off of it looks like to make a full enclosure uh, I might put a smithy on one side of this and a stable on the others and then just have a big enclosure with like a garden to one side or something um, and surrounded with a tall wall and gates and stuff yeah I think that'll be alright okay right so I need some more fiber some more wood and more just more resources sweet I've got the alternative uh, wood buildings now um, on the mod I've got on which is from the salvation server which like I said I would have been on if I could get it to work um, I've just made another four foundations because I think this will look nicer if it was just one extra foundation longer believe it or not and I think that does look better. I can also have the door in the middle. Yay! Um, right. Okay. So I need to get the walls and stuff now. Right, okay. So this should be the um, and it is <laughs> the wooden stuff off the boats. And I should be able to cycle for it. Okay. <laughs>
big. Right, okay. Oh, and the door. Okay, that looks pretty cool. Oh, I like it. Kind of looks cool. Oh, I don't know about the portals actually. Now you know what I like it. Looks kind of cool, bit different. Nice. All right. Oh, actually, I probably didn't need them windows in the ends because uh, I'm gonna have a thing each side. But it will do for now. That's perfect. Right. Uh, Got to get the second floor in, but I'm not sure exactly what to do that yet. Bad view out of here, is it? It's pretty cool. All right, okay, now I need to get some hide, uh, and I need a little bit of metal so I can get a smithy and get the refining forge type thing in my bob built. Is that a dead fish over there? Do they give me hide? I can't remember if they give you hide or not. Let's go have a look. Ah, I didn't get it quick enough. There's definitely some pigs and cows and stuff. Oh, there's a chicken there. Oh, not the monkey. Oh, boy. Sorry, monkey. There should be. Like that, some metal there. Sweet. Let's put that there. Now, can this just go outside on the floor? Oh boy, that's big. There is an AA one, a smaller one, and I didn't need to get the skill to use it. But um, I wanted to use the normal ones because, um, well, I want to have to have the building and actually have things to do you know that's what I like to do on the game so um yeah I've waited for that but obviously I forgot how big that forge is so I'm gonna have to knock up the um forge area um don't know if I've got enough materials to do it just yet let's have a look quick okay well I can make the foundations we can sit the forge down at least and we can build around it I suppose and uh I'm just curious as to what the AA foundations are if they look any different to the normal ones Exactly the same, isn't it? Okay, weird. Whatever. Right, let's plonk this down. Let's do that. Right, let's 
pretty full. Although now, <laughs> need to change these. Okay, right, well, that'll do for now anyway. We've got the um, forge up and running. Yeah, I like that. We'll just have to finish building around that forge. Um, that's where I was going to put it anyway, so that's fine. Um, still not sure about the design on the end of the house. We'll have a look when I come to it. What? Well, don't know what to do with it, but um, that's where the forge is going to go. We'll have a stables on the other end, and we'll have an enclosure out here. But we're getting there. We're on the way. Just got to get some weapons and stuff made, and we can check out this pirate encampment on this island. Maybe tame a tiger. That would be awesome if we can get one of them straight away. Uh, wouldn't mind a horse either. That'd be kind of fun. Um, but. I think that would be the priority, to try and get weapons so we can take a look at that encampment and see what's in it. And uh, hopefully find some treasure and get some sailors and get ourselves a little squad together to uh, go treasure hunting and have a little hunting pack, basically. But pretty happy with that. Pretty good start. At the start of this video, I didn't show me getting my sloop. I just showed me purchasing it. Um... I've done exactly what I always do and rush myself to a sleep. Now you can just buy a sleep straight away. Um, and if you want to see how I do it, there's a link at the end of the video on the in, on the end screen to the Atlas video I made that um, shows how to start out on Atlas, basically. I've done it for the release on the Xbox and um, just in general for anyone starting out on Atlas. So uh, go check that out if you want to see how I start the game. And if you've got any questions or you've got anything you want to know about Atlas or any little tips you're looking for, leave a comment below and if I know I'll answer it by making a video on, on how to solve that issue that you might have. And if I don't know, I'll find out and I'll make a video anyway. So um, yeah, let me know. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did and you like the content, don't forget to hit that subscribe button and make sure you give it a thumbs up, obviously. Anyway, I'll see you next time.